Hi Aquarius, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. A uh, couple things here before we start your reading. Uh, this will be your mid-month reading. Uh, the timing is uh, mid-month to the end of the month for, for you. Uh, also, I want to say that there will be an extended reading link below in the description box if this reading resonates with you. For some reason, if um, I don't feel I can do an extended, I will let you know in the reading. You'll see the link there whether it's uh, there or not. Uh, you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that information is there below. And with that, let's get started uh, with your reading. I also want to say thank you for all of your likes, your shares, subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you. And it helps uh, me connect with your energy. So I'm going to pull uh, one card here from the Animal Spirit Oracle deck. Let's see what the energy is there. Oh, very nice energy. You have here the Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around, number 41, which is five. Okay, really, really nice energy. So this is saying that there is love around you. Okay, so a lot of people uh, may be you know, expressing um, their kindness to you. You may feel people are very much drawn to you. This could be a love situation, somebody around you who has loving feelings for you. Uh, doesn't have to be a lover, but uh, for some it will be. So I'm going to pull now a couple cards here. Um, this is a major arcana deck. And uh, we're going to see what the energy is here for you, Aquarius. Let's get one card. Actually, we'll just put that there. Wow, Aquarius, you have the Hierophant. Along with love is all around you. Could be a relationship, right, in the works here. It also can be that you're just uh, becoming very connected with the divine. Maybe you're learning spirituality see what else wow look at this oh my gosh Aquarius you have the high priestess and the hierophant together all right I feel you got a very strong spiritual connection between you and somebody here uh, there's a very strong love situation <laughs> I feel that's going on all right so uh, let's pull the cards, Aquarius. We're going to see where this is all going. And uh, what I'm going to do uh, for this month or mid-month, okay, if you've watched my channel, I, I switch things up. I'm going to do it how I do it uh, in my messages from Spirit and the Angels. We're going to pull uh, the energy around you and we're going to pull your energy center. Okay, let's get some very nice energy. And let's get uh, the center of your energy. What's the center of Aquarius's energy? Okay, all right. Okay, so <laughs> very nice energy on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's start with the center of your energy. We have the five of air, all right? So this is telling me that um, there is some sort of conflict, I feel. You may be feeling conflicted about a love situation. <clears throat> Excuse me, Aquarius, my um, allergies are acting up here. But you may be feeling very, uh, very conflicted about a love situation here. All right. Um, or I feel here you could be dealing with somebody who's kind of dancing around the situation. Um, and maybe right not being their true self with you i get that energy as well uh in your um recent past here you have the eight of earth okay eight of pentacle energy uh could be dealing with a capricorn a taurus or a virgo so i feel in the past this was a situation that uh, was working okay it's showing me here this was a situation between you and somebody here that was working out pretty well 
but now it feels like there is some sort of conflict here, okay? But it also can be an indication that you've just been working hard, right? You've been working hard, maybe trying to forget about this situation. I also want to say roles and energies can be reversed as well. We're going to clarify some of these cards. You also have here the messenger of air, okay, in your foundation, so this is that Knight of Swords energy. I feel here, Aquarius, there is some sort of message um, that you're going to get uh, from this person, whoever this person is in your life. And I'm just going to say it doesn't have to be a love situation. It could be somebody else that you very much so love. Um, somebody, uh, maybe you have a very strong connection, very strong soulmate connection. Soulmates come in all forms, can be love, a lover, a friend. Uh, even family member, but I feel there's some sort of message that you are going to receive from this person because you also have here the messenger of earth. This is in your outcome position telling me that there is some sort of message that's coming through. And in your near future energy, you do have the ace of swords. Okay, so this is a breakthrough in communication, right? A fresh start, uh, a lot of different things here, okay? can be a victory when it comes to communication. So let's uh, clarify some of these cards. We're going to see where this is all going. Uh, I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be a love situation. And I feel there's a very strong love and spiritual connection between you and this person. So let's start with that five of air. Why is the five of air here, please? Why is the five of air here, please? Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. We have the High Priestess. Second time we have the High Priestess. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this, Aquarius. Look at this. High Priestess and the Hierophant again. Some of you, I get this could be definitely here a Twin Flame connection with that Four of Wands. You could be dealing with a Taurus, um, a Cancerian, a Pisces. We also have here uh, Aquari uh, your energy, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. So I feel it's a situation where I also get a Limbo energy. Like this could be a situation that things are in Limbo right? Um, there's some sort of conflict. I also get the energy that person that you're dealing with, <clears throat> right? Maybe, you know, not being their true self right now. Now you do have the Ten of Swords, okay? It shows me that there was some sort of ending, I feel, between you and this person. You have the High Priestess here as well. I feel this is your energy, Aquarius. I always see Aquarius as a very intuitive sign, um, and I feel here that uh, your intuition about the situation here is very strong. You have the Four of Wands here as well. Now, there may be something unknown here, right? Uh, that it's, I feel here that is attributed to this ending. Okay, that could be here the conflict, right? You maybe feel like this person's being secretive. Uh, or there's something here they're not sharing. Let's see what's below here. Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups and the Hierophant. Yeah, very strong soulmate connection. Some of you, I feel here, it's a twin flame. You have the Fool card. And you also have the Knight of Cups. There's, there's some sort of offer upcoming here, Aquarius, I feel, towards you. Now, I'm, I'm not going to rule out new love. Okay, because some of you, maybe you're still in conflict about a past situation, but maybe you're open, right, to um, a new situation. So let's see here why the messenger of air is here, please. Why is the messenger of air here, please? Why is the messenger of air here, please? Okay, you have the three of swords. You have the two of wands. Yeah, and there's that five of swords again. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Emperor. Okay, strong Aries energy. Okay. I feel like you got somebody here, probably here, who was a runner. And I'm going to say here, I didn't call this out, but you have the Sun card on the bottom of the deck. This tells me that upcoming, there's something very beautiful about to happen, I feel here, in love for you. It tells me there's a lot of growth, prosperity, happiness, also strong Leo energy. 
I feel here it's a situation. I feel with the messenger of air here in the foundation, you may have been dealing with somebody here who was a runner, right? Uh, may have played games, may have caused some sort of conflict, even self-sabotage here. But whatever it was for you, it caused a lot of pain. It caused a lot of hurt. You have the two of wands as well, okay? So I feel here that this may be somebody who wasn't making a decision, all right? Wasn't making a decision. There could have been other people who, you know, interfered here in this situation. But I do feel like this person is still attached to you. You got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I feel like you got somebody here, like I said, there's a strong spiritual connection between you and this person. And there's love here. But this is somebody here, it feels like this could be somebody who self-sabotages. Somebody here who runs, right? Never makes a decision. But um, let's clarify uh, the, the messenger of earth. Why is the messenger of earth here, please? Okay, so we have the six of swords. We have the king of swords. Yeah, page of cups. Yeah, there's a message here, all right? And look at that. There's the happiness we were talking about. Ten of cups energy. So I'm going to say here for some of you that we'll see when we get to the ace of air if this is somebody new or if this is uh, somebody here you already know. Uh, you got here the six of swords, the king of swords, and you have the page of cups. So this is where I see, I feel there is some sort of message coming through to you, some communication. Somebody I feel here, um, you know, it feels like this could be this person because you have the five of swords and now you have the six of swords. All right, communication, somebody here checking on you, reaching out to you, connecting with you uh, in a loving way right but it's it's very um, small steps i'm gonna say that's why i feel like it too also could be new love for some of you so some of you may have come out of a situation where you were dealing with someone who was playing games uh, and you got somebody new here now you have the six of swords this could be somebody who lives at a distance or uh you could be traveling or this person could be traveling around you you do have the ten of cups look at that and you have the ace of cups somebody's offering their love to you and I'm going to say, there is a strong energy that this could be somebody new. But for some of you, I feel like it's still this person here. But let's clarify the Ace of Air. Why is the Ace of Air here, please? Why is the Ace of Air here, please? I see a relationship here. Page of Wands. Four of Cups. Justice. All right bottom of the deck here yeah five of pentacles i feel like this is uh this person here that you've been dealing with because there's a strong connection here some of you possibly this is a twin flame right um could be two energies i'm just gonna say could be more than one person here maybe you're trying to move on right and you're starting to communicate here with somebody new um, because you also have here the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, and you have the Justice card, Strong Libra Energy. You have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So what I'm going to say, Aquarius, I feel it's an energy where you're going to get communication from this person. Um, I feel that whatever happened in your situation, right? See, I see conflict. There was hurt. There was loss. Um... A lot of you, I'm going to say, there was an ending of a relationship from with this person. But the spiritual connection has always been there. The love has always been there. And I feel that this person is reaching out to you again. But I also get the energy here, uh, Aquarius. You're not too sure, okay? You're not too sure here. And I'm going to say it's because this person was in, hesitant or indecisive in the past. Uh, or they may have ghosted you, right? Or didn't value you, didn't uh, see your worth here. You have the King of Cups. Yeah, okay, there we go. So that's what it's showing me here is that this is somebody here who was, 
you know, remember I said dancing around, you got the energy from your person. This is somebody who dances around things where this was somebody who dances around their feelings. There's, there's strong connection, there's strong love here, but this is somebody who, who I feel doesn't give a whole lot emotionally. So Aquarius, what I'm going to do here, uh, like I said, I do see potential growth here. I feel possibly you got two energies. I feel like you have a new love and you have, um, you know, somebody here, you know, coming back around wanting to make things right here with the justice card. So we'll see in the extended. I will look at both this person and new love. Uh, so I hope to see you there, Aquarius. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.